It's Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you all about the radial filter which can be found in the develop module um, underneath the histogram. This is for Lightroom 5 and up so if you guys don't have Lightroom 5 and up uh, you can still follow along and see um, how cool this tool is. Um, I use it for basically all of my portrait editing and I wanted to show you just the dramatic difference that it makes in my photos. So let's get started. This is the photo that I'm going to be using. Um, this is straight out of camera. And so I'm going to come over here to my Summer Craze collection and just apply a preset. I'm going to apply Afternoon Bliss. And this really just makes it pop. Um, and let me do a little bit of sharpening just because that's going to bug me if I don't sharpen it. Okay, so now his eyes are really sharp, everything looks great. So you could even just leave the image like this because it looks really good before and after. Um, it really just made it pop and uh, add some depth. But I wanted to show you using a radial filter and how much more drama it can bring to a photo. So up here, here is the radial filter uh, tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then when you click it, you should come up, it should a menu like this should come up. And if not, just go ahead and click this tiny little black arrow. If this is what you're seeing, you just go ahead and click it to expand it. And this is set up just like your graduated filter and your brush filter or your brush tool. So if you come over here to the effect panel, you can bring up this whole menu of brushes. Um, and filters that you can actually use as a radial filter too. So basically it's just going to, I'm going to just press like blue skies and you see how all of these sliders have changed. So what I'm going to do with this image, I'm going to choose just the basic dodge. And this is just going to add a little bit of dodging effect over his face. So I have this plus sign and I'm going to just start the filter up here so I can um, you can always move it. So after I apply it, I'm going to just move it right over to his face. Okay, and I'm going to undo this mask overlay. So you can see how it applied this exposure on the outside rim. Now what I want to do for this picture, I could go ahead and I could darken it. So it almost be like a vignette, but what I want to do is lighten it and come down here to the invert mask. When you push the invert mask, it's going to invert the filter. So basically I'm just applying this little bit of tiny exposure right to his face. So this creates a depth and it adds that center light that I love for all of my photos without using a vignette. I didn't really need a vignette for this photo because of how deep the colors were already. Uh, so adding this filter really made it pop. Okay, so a couple other things with this filter. There's, uh, you can come over here and you can use a brush. Um, but first, you know, you have your options of how much you want to feather it. So let me put the mask on. I always have my feathering set to about 50, but if you want it more feathered, you can choose 100 or no feather. Um, that would look a little silly, especially if you increased it. Okay, so I always set mine about 50, but anything 50 and above, it's going to have that nice feather effect. Okay, that's a little too much exposure, so I'm going to bring it down. And really the sky's the limit with these. You can change your contrast, your highlights, all of these. You could even add a color to it. Um, the sky is the limit. So in case you ever run into a photo that you don't want to apply this whole filter to, you can come over here to your brush. And while this filter is selected, you can come over here and you can you know, create a brush and you can even erase, use the eraser and say I didn't want his eyes so much. You can come over here and you can apply the eraser brush to his eyes and you can see how that took the effect right off 
of the filter. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I just did Control Z or Command Z on a Mac and I just deleted those because I don't want to do that but that's just an option you can use your erase filter. Okay so I'm just going to go back here and everything looks good so I'm just gonna push done and you can see my before and after how I applied a preset and a radial filter and how that really made the image pop. So I use this like I said in all of my photos that I edit um, I also have a couple of presets that I have created to help me with this, uh, Spotlight being one of them. That just adds a tiny bit more exposure. That might be a little too much for this photo. And also I added one in my Life in uh, Color collection with uh, see, ch -ch -ch Center Light. So that's another one. So I have Center Light and Spotlight and you can go ahead and create your own. Uh, add a little bit of warmth to it or coolness or anything that you your heart desires really so I uh, just wanted to show you one of my favorite Lightroom tools and I hope that you guys can find it useful and use it in your photography so thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you guys next time bye